this called, this is a little sideshow for one drink three bars, because sometimes we make something so interesting you can't even find it at three different bars. Today we're going to make a really cool drink called the Verbena. It uses some very interesting citrus juices. It uses a really cool flower from a really cool plant and it actually alters your taste buds. The first time I had this drink was at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas at their chandelier bar. Um, this is a super famous drink there. It's sometimes called the flower drink. Everyone talks about these. This plant is called Spilanthia. It's more commonly known as a buzz button. Um, the plant has also been referred to as a toothache plant because these little flowers have numbing properties. So you can just put it on your gums or wherever you're hurting and it'll help you. And if you're just using it for fun, you can chew on it and it alters your taste buds and makes this drink taste different. Um, this is a plant I grew from seeds I got from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're a company in Missouri and I've ordered a lot of stuff from them that I've been really happy with. Um, this is the yellow toothache plant. Um, and I've also planted some of these um, bullseye ones that have a little purple dot in the middle. Um, but I planted those later and they're not ready yet. So the link to purchase these seeds is in the description below. And before I grew this plant, I ordered some from Etsy and I'll provide that link as well. The other ingredients for this drink are tequila, yuzu juice. Now this one's a little less common here. Um, yuzu is a Japanese citrus fruit and it's illegal to import that fruit to the United States, so um, it's not very easy to find. There's a few specialty growers who grow it out in California, and it's really expensive and hard to get your hands on. So I found this juice imported from Japan uh, on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Um, link to this is below as well. Um, the second interesting citrus juice we're using is from the Philippines. This is Kalamon Sea Juice. It's also kind of like a lemon or a lime. This juice wasn't quite as expensive or hard to find. This is an unsweetened concentrate, so I'll be using about half an ounce of it. If you've got um, a more diluted juice, I'd recommend using about an ounce. This is just some simple syrup that I keep on hand. This is just 50-50 um, water and cane sugar. Finally, I'm using this fiery ginger syrup. And you could also make this yourself if you wanted, but I wanted to keep it simple today. So I've used this Lever & Co. fiery ginger syrup and I really like it. So now we'll get started. A little tip, always build your drink in the small tin um, to prevent the risk of it overflowing. It's like a common question is like, oh, I, do I build it in the big one or the small one? Definitely the small. So we're gonna start out um, with an ounce of this ginger syrup. And another thing I like to do is I like to put my more rare and expensive ingredients in last. And I like to put the liquor in last in case I mess something up and I have to throw it away. Then you're not throwing away tequila or like a bottle of juice that's $10 for three ounces. And I'll put in a half an ounce of simple syrup, a half an ounce of this juice concentrate. three quarters of an ounce of the yuzu juice, finally an ounce and a half of the tequila. Give that a few shakes until you feel your tins getting cold. There we go. You've got to get it right where it's about to meet the, the other tin. Perfect amount for this glass. And finally, the finishing touch. You serve it with this little flower. I'm going to take this big, big one that looks like 
twice the size of a normal one. And just pop it on the top like that. And there you go, the verbena. Um, I can't resist taste testing this myself. So like I said, I'm gonna try it without the flour. Tastes like kind of a ginger margarita. And then I'm gonna try this and take another sip. You just bite into it and eat the yellow part. The flour doesn't taste very good, but ooh, you'll have such a bad taste in your mouth from it, you'll wanna drink more of this. If you want more recipes and to see some local bars here in Knoxville and maybe even in some vacation spots, like and subscribe. And don't forget, to, if you need to buy any of these products, use the links below.